Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering a fantastic application available for Linux that will allow you to monitor your CPU, memory, disk, network, and GPU usage all in real time. Now, the application itself is called Mission Center, and any users of Windows 11 will see a striking resemblance to the Windows Task Manager, which, in my opinion, is a good thing, because as an end user, you're already going to be familiar with the layouts, and then you won't have to learn a brand new workflow. Now, Mission Center brings in all the information about your system, but rather than using complex individual terminal commands, instead, it provides the information in a clear and easy to understand fully GUI tool. Now, the application itself is hosted as a flat pack on Flathub, which means that it will work on any Linux distributions that support that particular platform. As always, when it comes to flat pack, my recommendation is to follow the setup guide for your distribution. So, for example, since I use Endeavor OS, then all I'd need to do is scroll onto the section here where it says Endeavor OS, and then from here just follow the steps to set everything up. So once flat spot support is enabled, then all you need to do is click on the big install button on the project page, and this will open up the appropriate software store application. So for example, it's usually going to be GNOME software if you use GNOME as your desktop environment, or KDE Discover if you use KDE Plasma. Of course, alternatively, if you want to go the terminal route, you can choose the option here where it has a downwards arrow, and then just copy and paste that command into the terminal. But in either case, once you've installed Mission Center, launch it as you normally would do using your application launcher. As I mentioned earlier, if you're familiar with the Windows Task Manager in Windows 11, then you should be able to easily navigate this application. So at the top, you have two tabs. You have Performance and then Apps. So if we start with the Performance tab, from the top, you have CPU, Memory, disk or multiple disk if you have multiple installed, Ethernet or Wi-Fi if you've got a Wi-Fi card, and then a GPU at the bottom. And each of these particular tabs are actually accompanied by a real-time graph. You can also get more information if you click on any of the individual tabs. So for example, if you click on the CPU tab, as you can see, it will show you the current clock speed of your GPU, how many processes, threads and handles are currently being handled, I suppose at that point in time as well as the bottom part here where it says the uptime of your system. If you click on the memory tab, you can see how much memory is in use out of your grand total, how much is cached, and then if you had swap available, it would note it down here as well. I actually use RAM disk, so it's kind of included with the overall memory usage. You can also check what type of speed you've got, what form factor, and also what type of DDR RAM you're using. Now if you click on any of these disk tabs here, it will show the overall capacity of the drive, as well as if there's any read or write activity occurring. The Ethernet or Wi-Fi tab will show you the current send and receive in terms of data going across your network. It will also show you the interface name of how it appears in your system, your MAC address, and then of course your IP address at the bottom. And then finally, the GPU tab will show you quite a bit of information actually. It will show you the clock speed, the current power draw up to the maximum, how much memory is actually in use, there's, overall, there's also utilization here, which is the percentage, uh, your memory speed, as well as your temperature, and then a couple of other more technical bits and pieces. Now, if we move across to the Apps tab, this will show you a categorized list of every application that's currently open, as well as all individual system processes. Now, you can also group by PDI, or Process ID, what's using the most CPU usage, most memory, and then also disk use as well. Now you can also choose to either cleanly close an application or kill it outright. And the way you do that is you right click on the entry and then choose the option for either stop application, which is your clean option, or false stop application, which is your kill option. So with that, it covers the Mission Center, a fantastic new tool in your Linux toolbox. So in conclusion, Mission Center is the best system monitoring utility currently available for Linux. It has a modern look, it's fully featured, simple to use, and it's also available to install on any system. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching this video today. And if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and if you like my content and want to support me, then click that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye now.